What's up guys, Midwest Tour of you here back again. A little bit of a different scenery um, for you guys now. As you know, I got the, uh, and I'm gonna put this in quotations, 80 inch Husky um, tool chest, side locker, lower, and a uh, hutch um, over this past weekend. Got it all set up. Uh, I've been trying to do some organization, things of that nature. Uh, get it kind of like how I like it. Still not where it's going to finally rest, but uh, we're getting there. We're nearly done. Um, still gonna, I'm still not quite ready to do a tour per se. Um, so um, look, stay tuned for that. That'll probably occur in the next couple of occur. And man, I'm just struggling a worse tonight. That will probably happen. Let's go with the easier word. Um, then over the next couple of days, maybe by this weekend, we'll be ready for a tour. Um, what do I want to share? Oh, so I went to none other than everybody's favorite hometown tool supply store, <laughs> uh, Harbor Freight. And uh, I told you guys I was going to do it. I to told many of you fellow creators like CP and Raging Cajun and uh, at the old tech guy and Power Stroke Jew that I was going to get these. And I finally did it. I, uh, I manned up. I manned up, guys, <laughs> and I got these Icon flush cut um, pliers. Uh, so these are the six inch flush cut dipped handles, three inch, three quarter inch rather, jaw capacity, uh, lifetime guarantee. Henschel in Taiwan, probably. Designed by Icon in the US, manufactured in Taiwan. To me, a Taiwan tool is a Taiwan tool. I know that's not entirely true, but you know, that's what I say. Um, or how I look at it, rather. So flush cut, provide clean cuts, sharp edges, heat treated steel, you know, all this traditional stuff. And I know that Snap-on has a set and, you know, most people probably would think that I'm gonna go and I would get a set of, uh, a pair of, uh, from Snap-on based upon my tool setup, but I wanted to try these out and uh, share my thoughts and opinions. Um, so the first big thing is that, you know, while they look the same, they entirely are not. Uh, let's just be honest. Um, the grips are different. The feel of the material is different. Um, how it um, fits on the plier itself is different. Um, the machining, all of that is totally different than the Snap-on. Snap-on is much cleaner. You can tell that there's been way more work, workmanship put into the Snap-on versus the Icon. Now, granted, these are not flush cuts. I'm just comparing a plier to a plier, um, and uh, just some things that I noticed off the hand, off bat. And uh, but they they are sharp. Uh, they don't have uh, any light showing there really, major light at least. There's a little bit of a light. Um, they can't come to a complete, you know, sharp edge to sharp edge because that would dull them out. Um, they are well oiled. Uh, they are, they're not overly stiff. They're easy to open. Uh, they cut nicely. I, I will give them that. They cut nicely, but you're cutting soft plastic wire anyway. I thought I had some here. Let me see. Hang on a second. Ah, oh, yeah. Got some wire here or not wire, but, um, zip ties. So they're, you know, they're, they, they do what they're supposed to do. And I am not going to be able to do this with one hand, but they cut cleanly. Uh, let's see here. There's no complaints about that. I mean, it's not a lot of effort to cut things with them. So you can see there, nice and clean cut. They're not, one of the big things is I was looking to make sure that they didn't like smush or, um, basically tear the material until it, it separated. It actually does, in fact, cut it like you're supposed to. So they're nice. I mean, they're for the money, they were like 29 bucks. They're not bad. I mean, I imagine that the Snap-on ones are probably 70, 65, 70, maybe 80 bucks. I'm not, I, I don't know for certain. Somebody in the comment section will probably be able to let you know that. Um, but they're not bad. They're not bad for what they are. So, but I, I wanted to get them. Um, I like the look of them. I love, you know, the fact that they were trying to go after Snap-on with these, that's funny to me. Um, 
But yeah, and in general, I think they're gonna come in, they're gonna be very useful uh, and it's nice to have around the garage. Um, so yeah, like I, like I said, I compared them to the Snap-on, just kind of got a good feel. Snap-ons feel much heavier in the hand. Granted, this is a bigger plier, eight inch versus six inch. Um, so there's more material there, but the Snap-on, you can feel just the, the way that they're put together. There's no, you know, there's no, um, um, what do I say? How do I say that? You can tell the quality. Uh, typically American made tools have um, good tolerances to them. They're nice and heavy and stout. And that's a number one way, or at least it used to be a good way to judge how well a tool was made is by how well it felt in the hand in terms of, you know, just the actual fit, how it fit in the hand, but also its weightiness. And uh, these feel light, they are light, um, but they are also a different plier. And I compare these here. They're more close, closely. Um, they more they more more closely resemble these here. Um, these pliers here. These are the 86 ACFs. These are six inches as well. But even so, the grips are different. These feel a lot cheaper in terms of the grip um, uh, when comparing them to Snap On. So, but they're cool. Glad to have them. Um, one of the other things I picked up, that's the only thing I got from Harbor Freight today. Um, the other thing I picked up was this, um, Milwaukee, uh, mid torque. I, uh, have other Milwaukee guns. My neighbor has my, um, half inch drive, uh, high torque. Um, I gotta go pick that up, but I decided to go ahead and get the Milwaukee mid torque, um, and half inch drive because I, just in general, having something that's not quite 1400 pounds but not at the same time it's not 250 pounds is ideal for me um, a lot of times i'm going to salvage yards i'm pulling parts um and uh there's nothing like going to pull apart have uh going to a pick apart yard and you have a 250 pound foot pound impact gun and it's not enough to get things broken free uh that's frustrating it's, it's consumes time uh, and it's, it's very irritating. So um, the, mil, the, mil, the mid torque is hopefully going to be able to eliminate some of those uh, issues that I may find myself in. Because not every time do you want to be sitting there ratcheting, especially if you're working in the cold. Um, you just don't want to be doing that. So um, the specs on this guy real quick are right here. Uh, 550 for fastening, 650 for um, nut busting torque. The four mode, you know, drive, um, auto drive, auto shut off, different RPMs, anything from zero to 1250, all the way up to 3,100, six inch length, three and a half pound. Uh, and it's, it does have the friction ring on there. So, um, but yeah, I like it. I think these in combination with my Capri stubby half inch drive sockets are gonna be, um, they're gonna be a killer. I think they're gonna be um, a, good a good pair, a good mating uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, they work out like I planned. So we picked that up today. And uh, I guess I could go ahead and show you guys the, um, especially if you hung around this long, here's my power drawer, or not power drawer, but my, my impact drawer. So I've got all my impact guns with the exception of the half inch Milwaukee, like I said, but I've got my snap on, my Milwaukee's, um, you know, my big half inch drive snap on, my snap on drill, um, my Milwaukee drill, 3 8 drive, the impact, snap-on, the Milwaukee stubby, a couple CT761s, the drill gun, um, the older CT or 561, whatever it's called, quarter-inch hex um, Milwaukee, my Milwaukee long neck, my Milwaukee right angle, Milwaukee ratcheting stubby, quarter-inch uh, ratchet, ratchet uh, snap-on, and two older snap-on guns there as well. And then my cobalt cutoff um, angle, um, cutoff tool or whatever. Um, and so this is gonna live, this, this gun here is gonna live down there with the rest of them. The power drawer, I guess if you wanna call that, uh, finally got that all wired up like I wanted it. It's not quite exactly how I wanted it. I'm gonna make it a little bit neater than what it is, but uh, I just want to finish up some things on it tonight. And so this is kind of where I got, how far I got. So I've got, um, all my uh, chargers in here for the most part. I do have one or two that are not in here right now. 
Uh, and I did order one that should be here pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, so I got all my chargers, charging units in here. Everything's ready to go. Um, I did want, they were up on the shelf and I did want everything in the box because uh, my garage can get cold even though it is heated. Um, and I didn't want the batteries out. So having everything in the drawer, uh, nice and neat. And I know where everything's at is, is ideal for me. A couple extra batteries. I got to get a new charger for those because they're, I don't have a charger, charging unit for it right now. But everything's there. I mean, snap-ons, my, my 14 fours, my 18s, my um, 7.2s, my 9.6 volts. Everything is in here. Uh, big industrial um, um, power strip. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with it. I think this is going to be pretty neat. And I got one more charger that's probably going to live like right in that section there. So that drawer is all complete now. Um, the ratchet drawer, or not ratchet, but the socket drawer is all complete. Finally got that guy done. I'll show you guys that. Um, so that drawer is now officially done. Uh, everything's in there that I needed to have in there. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do a tour. Um, here probably over the next couple days, but yeah, everything's there um, I don't have anything left out that I didn't intend to have into this drawer So it's all there guys. I mean, I mean I couldn't be happier with it It may look chaotic to some but it makes sense to me um, And this is exactly what I wanted uh, was to have all my sockets in a single drawer and not have things scattered about the shop that I had to go look for, you know, having things, even though the boxes were next to each other, uh, in my mind is if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So I had a lot of things that were put away that never got used. Like this whole set here, this is hat, this is a three H drive, deeps, mid and shallow snap on. And I've never used it. I've had to set like two years, I believe, or going on two years. Um, I've never got a chance to use it because it was at the very bottom of my older box. Um, I've got some other sets here that have never been used, um, brought them out, you know, so I can get access to them. This set here that got off my buddy Brian, uh, never been used. This quarter inch drive set here has never been used. So having everything out and about um, or having everything localized or centralized will allow me to get a chance to use it. And while it looks like, um, you know, like you may say, oh, well, there's there's duplicates in here. There's really not a lot of duplicates in terms of like having multiple three drive sets that are all impacted you know i have impacts i have chromes i have 12 point i have six point i have deep deeps mids shallows um and so i kind of broken everything up as best as i can and i've been selling off a lot of things i know people give me a hard time about having so much sometimes but i have sold off a lot of things that were duplicates and triplicates just so that i feel like i'm not hoarding things um, and I actually know that I'm going to be putting things to use because having two or three sets of things, you just don't get a chance to use all of it. So I'm not trying to be a minimalist, but I am trying to be a realist and uh, take more use to what I do have. So, but yeah, guys, it, it looks pretty good. I'm impressed. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Um, like I said, I am going to do a tour here coming up pretty soon. Um, I'm still waiting on my toolbox widgets to get here so I can get my, my, um, my wrench drawer set up. And that should be here. I know we're expecting a fairly large snowstorm to come through our area. Um, so things are a little bit chaotic at the moment. But hopefully that doesn't delay, uh, get delayed. And if so, um, we'll get the wrench drawer set up and then we will get our tour ready to go. So thank you guys for uh, you know watching everything, staying uh, tuned in to what's going on with this new setup. I'm really, I'm really proud of it. I'm really happy with the box. Uh, a lot of people have uh, asked me or made comments about, um, you know, the Husky box in general. Why did I buy it? I still have the Snap-on box. I still have the Matco tool cart. I know it's a little bit crazy right now, but I still have those two boxes. I only got rid of one. Uh, so I've not completely turned my back on, as some people have said, on Snap-on. You know, I just got something that worked better for me. And, uh, and in, unless they were going to write me a check to purchase a snap-on box, which I'm not opposed to. If somebody wants to buy me one, then go ahead. It's your money. But I don't require anybody to do anything like that for me. I, I'm my own man. And so I bought what I could afford uh, and what made the most sense to me. Uh, and Husky, having had a Husky box and having had loaded it as much as I possibly could with, with weighty tools and making sure that it was put to test, um, I was impressed with the quality of the Husky box. So that being said, I'm very 
um, pleased with my purchase. So hope you guys liked the, the video. Um, I'm going to get Milwaukee, get some time on that um, so you guys can see that. Uh, we're going to get some more time on these flush cut pliers from um, Icon. Um, and then hopefully we'll be able to give a better opinion uh, based video to you guys uh, sometime in the future. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. That's all I have for tonight. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.